Hey everyone, how's it going? So before this video gets started, if you're interested in becoming an Uber or Lyft driver and you wanna start making some extra money and you wanna get a sign-on bonus, go ahead and use the link in the description below. You'll enter in your information and you get signed up pretty quickly. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thanks so much for coming by. The Rideshare Hub is a great place for drivers to learn more and for new drivers to come and experienced drivers to learn how to make more money and be a better rideshare driver. All right, so today's video, we're gonna be going over can passengers drink alcohol in the back seat? You know, so you pick up a group of passengers or you pick up somebody and they bring an alcohol into your car. What do you do? Uh, this has happened to me quite a bit and especially if you're driving at night and if you drive at night, um, you know people like to drink and it's you know no secret that when people are going out late at night They like to drink before they get to the bar because they want to save money You know when you go to the bar you want to order a beer or a mixed drink. It's gonna cost you like At least six dollars Maybe even ten dollars depending on where you go some places. It's like 15 bucks. It's crazy out there so um, you know, I don't blame the people. I don't blame them. They want to drink beforehand and save money. And something that they like to do is they like to carry that drink in the car because, you know, all of a sudden they go, oh, the Uber's here. And they're like, well, I'm not done pre-gaming, so let me just sneak it into the car. And, um, you know, a good thing to do is when, you're dr when your passengers are coming into the car um, and you can tell that they're partying or they're on their way to a party, uh, look out look out and see if anyone's carrying um, you know a red solo cup and uh, Whatever, you know, and maybe you can say oh, you know, I don't allow any uh, You know liquids into the car so that way, you know if they just say oh, no, it's just lemonade You can be like well, sorry uh, I don't carry you know I don't allow open containers in my car period because I've had issues before etc however you want to word it um, because you know when people are drinking they're just gonna say oh you know what it's just a Red Bull when clearly it's not and um, if you get pulled over and it's illegal in your state which I know in most there's a couple states where they don't have open container laws I'm not sure which one it is but most states it's illegal for to have any open containers in your car unless it's in the trunk and you're not gonna be transporting anyone in your trunk because that's also illegal so um, but yeah I would say never ever under any circumstance allow a passenger to drink alcohol in the car unless you're one of those one or two states um, and the reason for this is because one it goes against uber and lyft's terms of service you can get deactivated number two it's illegal. You can get pulled over and guess who's getting uh, a ticket? It's gonna be you, the driver, because it's your responsibility to make sure that no one is drinking in the car. Now, let's just say somebody sneaks it in and you know it's in their backpack or whatever and it's an open container and for whatever reason they have to search the car. Sure, you might, you probably will not be liable because you weren't aware of it, but if somebody's hanging out, you know, right here in your passenger seat and they're sipping on a red solo cup or a beer out in public, that's gonna be the driver's fault and the passenger's fault because, you know, at that point, the driver can clearly see the person's drinking and, you know, if you, as an operator of a vehicle, you're liable for people in your car. Just like if you have somebody um, not wearing a seatbelt, the driver gets a ticket as well. So this is where you really don't want to allow any passengers to uh, have alcohol, drink alcohol in the car. And all you have to say, again, when they come in, just say, hey, you know, uh, sorry, I don't allow any liquids in my car. Or you could you can say, hey, do you have any alcohol? And just be like, sorry guys, I don't allow any alcohol in my car. Um, but I would say never, don't even think twice about it. If you, you know, maybe it's a $50 ride and you're thinking, oh wait, you know, it's worth the risk. It's not worth the risk. You can get charged of upwards of $500 for a fine like this. Get deactivated from Uber and Lyft. And, you know, this is your job. Don't, don't break the rules. Don't bend the rules for a passenger just because you, you know, you like the person or whatever, whatever it might be. Um, so yeah, I, I've had a person who I stopped and he thought he, we stopped at the liquor store. He bought one of those four locos and he thought he was going to drink that on the way to the bar. And I said, no, sorry, you cannot drink that in here. And I mean, he took it with them and 
I dropped him off and he opened it as soon as he got outside of the car. Cool, you, he can do, do whatever he wants. You know, he can get a drunk in public or whatever it's called on his own. I really could care less. <laughs> you know, as long as it's not in my car, I really don't care. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for today. Let me know in the comment section below, have you ever had to deal with this? Um, and if not, let me know any more questions you might have. I'm very happy to go through the comments and answer any questions you have. I love interacting with you guys. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Again, if you're interested in becoming an Uber or Lyft driver and you wanna get that sign-on bonus, go ahead and use the link in the description to sign up. This has been another episode of The Rideshare Hub, and I will see you all next time. Bye.